Hi everyone, my name is Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Gamma 2020. I've been joined by John of Genius Games. Yes. And he's brought with him Math Rush. Math so Rush. So we're rushing to do some math here. <laughs> yes. That's right. Now, so what, what I want to say about this, this is a this is a real-time cooperative math game where you're doing uh, addition and subtraction. Okay. Now you might think, I know addition and subtraction. I, I've got that down. I do. It's easy, which I hope you do. Thank you. Um, but we're not going to test that though, no, here, right? Well, You're, maybe a little bit, okay. but not too much. Not too much. Um, but the cooperative nature of this game and the real-time nature of this game is going to just kind of challenge, makes yeah. your brain melt. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay. Um, so basically, what's going to happen? It's really simple. Each player is dealt a hand of cards. Depending upon how many players there are, right. um, you will look at your cards. And so here, here are yours. Oh, and okay. So you can see yeah, in yeah. front of me here. I've got a, I've got a six and a fifteen and a, an eleven and a five and a two. Right. That's and so I'm. Quick doing this. Hey, there you I go. I got one. There you go. Okay. You give and, me the easy ones. Thanks, John. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, and you have to look at your cards and figure out what you have. And now, um, uh, we don't look at them before we start the timer, but yeah. we start a three-minute timer. And what we're basically trying to do is complete these goal cards cooperatively. Okay. We have three minutes, and we want to complete as many as we can. Once we complete one of them, we'll flip it over, and we'll throw a new one out there so there's always three of them. Okay, so how do you complete them? Yeah. Now, this, you'll see a number right here. Mm. This tells you how many cards you need to get in the sequence to the right. Okay. And this arrow shows you the direction of the sequence. So meaning four cards that are increasing in order. So as an example, I might look at mine and go, okay, I have a six. So, so I, I have one. There you That's go. A you great have place one. to start. Now, do I, can I just play one down? You can, but right. we'd want to be communicating as sure, much as sure. possible. To get, and then you would immediately replenish. Oh, but and subtraction only. So that, that was. There fair. you go. Yeah. So subtraction only. And it looks like it's color coded. That's a subtraction. It's sort of a pink color and then blue. Okay. That's gotcha. exactly yeah, right. Yeah. And we only need four for that one. So you have a one. I have a really high number. I have a two. So I'm going to oh, throw my two. Can out I say there what I have? I have a 12. One. Oh, yes, so, you can say what you have. I have a 12, uh, and then I have a 15. Meanwhile, we could be working on this at the same time. We could. Is that but right? If you, that's right. If you put your 12, I'll put my 15. Okay, I'll do that. Man, and then that one is done, and we can, um, we've got another, another one, one out there. Okay. And we could be working on all these at the same a, time. Same time, okay, cool. But basically, after three minutes, we're going to stop. We're going to make sure they are correct, and if you flip them over, you'll see that they're, um, they should be in alphabetical order. Um, based upon their their final value, yeah, yeah. Um, and we want to make sure that we actually followed the rules on the on the back of the yeah, goal card, which is subtraction only. They're all subtraction. We would then score four points for that card, and we add up all of our cards. Three rounds. Uh, we're trying to beat our highest Best score. score. I, I'm becoming it. quite a fan of these high pressure games that aren't. They're throwing very simple things at you, and the very real simple. pressure is from the timing. That's right. And I like that there's a cooperative element to this as well. So we're yes. also, the confusion is the communication. Because I could technically try to solve this on my own. You could. But I, I really want to be talking to you because you might have the perfect card and I'm that's stuck right. trying to wait for something. Or you could throw something out there that's suboptimal and it locks my right, cards out. Right, so right. we really want to be communicating. So what happens if you've got a hand you can't play? Yes, so there's a couple things. Um, if you place a card down here that's incorrect, you cannot move it. Right? Okay. So you could lock people out. You can play a help card, though, and that ah. allows you to remove any card in play. Right. Or the help card will also allow you to refresh your hand. So I could discard any cards from my hand that I wanted and redraw. Okay. But I only get three of them, right. and they last the whole game. So if I use one in the first round, I don't get it back to second, gotcha. third round. It's gone. Gotcha. So, so you could end the game before the full three rounds. A round could end before the timer's gone, in a way, right? Because you could end up locked out, the help cards are gone. It could nothing. in could that happen. case, yes. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen that happen. Right. Happen, but I guess if you use all your help cards, you could, could potentially get there. You, <laughs> yes, could, yeah. you could find a way. Right, right, right. Okay, that's excellent. So this is something, what, who's the target audience for this? Yeah, I mean, it, it, we've played with so many different groups and had such a good time, even with gamers. Um, but I would say, you know, it's eight and up. The math is a little bit too heavy for someone younger than, say, seven or eight. Right, right. Although I have a daughter who's six. We play a lighter, simpler version of this. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll take it. We've, we've played it with a few different high school groups. And they and just, uh, you know, it's mass hysteria. To be fair, that so your daughter, I mean, her father is the head of genius. That, game, that's right. So. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you smarter than a six-year-old? <laughs> right, that's right. what it really should be. Is this something that's available now? It is then? currently available. Okay. Yep, it just released about a week and a half ago. Excellent. And, and sorry, how many people can play at a time with this? Um, up to five, I believe. Yeah, let's Let check. Where's the, this is, this is it's where hidden somewhere on the box. There, there we go. There we go. One, to, one five. to five. So you can play it solo as well. You can Excellent. play it solo. John, thank you so much for showing this. And all Absolutely. of you, thanks for watching. <laughs>